hello 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 my beautiful scorpio i hope you guys are doing great welcome to your channel my loves make sure you hit the like button as you come in um subscribe to your channel if this is something that resonates deep in your heart and if you feel like you are a chosen one a part of the 144,000, hit that like button my loves okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and i'm hearing something about the most high is saying something about falling from grace okay so you have a lot of these people these decepticons these deceivers um fake emperors to be honest with you or um i feel like they are lower vibration toxic emperors or empress right and i feel like they're falling from grace all right so that's what i'm feeling right now so we're desperate yeah they're falling from grace my love I'm going through a tough time in their life and soon they will start to feel a relief about the situation. But I feel like your people, your um, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this person is going through some type of desperation, okay? But I feel like it's you they are falling from grace okay all right so let's just get into your reading guys next week I will start doing extended readings okay um yeah I'm gonna start doing extended readings okay I'm gonna start doing the link I will give you the link so like you guys could purchase the link and see the extended reading okay um that's something that I have to do all right um so yeah let's see what's going on here Okay, so um, there's power. There's power here, Scorps. Okay. So power. Power is a magical thing and you have the power within you to create changes and whatever you put your focus on. Okay. All right. see the most high coming out i see your father most high god uh, yeshua inky Ia, jesus right? okay all right so scorpio what i do see where is what I do see is the power you have. You, you possess some some great power, okay? And it's like you are pretty much someone that is bringing reality into people's life. You are like the catalyst right now. So I feel like God has put you in people's lives, right? Because you are triggering them to be better, to do the work. But I feel like these people are envious and jealous of you. But again, you are the catalyst, all right? Uh, some of you guys already went through a reborn okay new beginnings you a uh, new start you did it okay so father mother saying you did it okay because that's you as a baby and that's your dea right um reborn so rebirth okay so there's a rebirth that's happening within you a new beginning you did it your new start um, you remember who you are embrace your new life so i feel like you're starting to realize that you have the power again to heal people but also the power to curse people okay scorpio and i know a lot of people like oh yeah Malia, that sounds really queen that sounds really bad no it doesn't sound bad because actually you um you've been very humble sweet loving caring to people right and now you got to start showing your side of not wanting to care and also as you're doing this you're also bringing peace to yourself because you're being the catalyst you're cleaning out houses you see what i mean you're cleaning out people that are envious jealous um people are that are still stuck in their own ways of doing things that are lower vibrational energy and because of you you are the one that's triggering these people to actually become better right because you're the healer okay so some of you guys you have went through some battles and wounds and it's time to rest for your next chapter so you guys are at peace right now but you do have a lot of people that could be envious and jealous of you and they have this they are the same in everybody but with different motives so you have jealous people envious people because they see that you have an anointing upon you okay the most high god chose you as a chosen one 
of the part of the 144 to be able to start making these changes to these to to, to this um narcissistic uh egotistical prideful individuals okay yeah blame it on the rain i'm hearing blame it on the rain blame it on the rain yeah yeah blame it on the sun something like that okay let's see whatever you do don't put the blame on you something like that. all right so what else we have here I feel like you, you're walking with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is just cleansing you of any uh, toxic situation here, Scorpio. But also you are the one, you are the Holy Spirit, okay? You're walking with the Holy Spirit and you're cleaning houses, meaning you're cleaning um, people's environment, okay? Look, time, tick tock, time to move, no more time to waste, divine timing is at hand. So I just feel like you're the one who's the catalyst now. <laughs> People, oh, I'm just saying, I'm hearing you, the dangerous one, Scorps. You are, are dangerous. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you're the dangerous one. So God had hit in you, hide you for a long time because you was dangerous. Okay, you're the dangerous one. You're the catalyst. Okay, talking about false turn flame here. Yeah, that's why you, God always had you to be alone. You needed to walk alone to work on your path, to work on this mission, on this purpose. Because now you are coming out stronger than ever. Okay, you always felt alone, but you know that you've never been alone. You always have your angel guide, guides that protect you, okay? But again, you are the Holy Spirit that's walking around the earth cleansing okay you know when people say oh i feel the holy spirit that is you baby and that is your god honest honesty so these people got to be honest and truthful to you scorpio they cannot lie to you anymore there's no more deceit okay there's no more trickery here because you you are the catalyst <laughs> you're cleaning out uh these these uh spaces this type of uh demonic spirits desperate and these people are desperate because they dying they die in Scorpio. They die because they don't have your energy. They die because they don't have your light. You are the blessed hope. You're the blessed hope. You're the Jesus. And they're going to have to accept that. Okay, these people are going to have to accept that. These envious, jealous, egotistical, uh, demonic spirits, okay, walking among the earth. They're going to have to accept that they're going to have to go in desperation if they don't accept the love or the healing that they need to go through. And if they don't go through that, they fall, they're going to fall from grace. Okay. Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change or control in my life. You cannot, ex you cannot change or control what is destined for you here, Scorpio. You can't. What? This is your purpose. That's why. I know my mission and purpose. I remember what I'm here to do. This is the reason. This is your purpose and your mission. That's why. You cannot change. You already accepted this. Okay. You already accepted this love. All right. I want to try some of these cards. Give me a couple of these cards. What is the message here for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. Jupiter and Venus. And North Node and Virgo. Oh, Papa. Okay. Okay, so somebody's thinking about you, waiting for that perfect moment where you will be back in their arms. Okay, that's a sign. No, <laughs> Scorpio, somebody's thinking about you. Okay. All right, so give me a message here. So there's something about you having this power, baby. But with this power, you bring peace and desperation. <laughs> you bring peace and desperation to these people. Why? Yeah, physical health. Because you are helping them to change their ways. You're trying to help them to heal themselves, right? To cleanse out whatever lower vibration energy that they have, all right? They also got to forgive themselves for being in this um, situation, this life that they created for themselves, this reality that they think they're stuck in. You no, know, you need to release and let go of the pain in your heart to be able to forgive. I feel like these people have been having a lot of pain in their heart. They went through a lot of... Uh, atrocity okay 
but with that also they also did that a lot of atrocity to other people too here okay and this is what you're coming to reflect you're reflecting um the inner wounds that they have not healed from from the inner child so you are like the reflection of them here scorpio okay and that's why they're desperate because they can't they feel like they can't take control of their own life all right let's see what else so your reflection so you're just more like portray, portraying actually put you projecting out whatever they're feeling or whatever they are so seeing you as a human vessel, but in an earth angel, as an earth angel, a pure physical body person, an, um, someone that holds the, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God in this vessel. Um, when they see you, they see themselves as a dirty person, right? Like a, a, a very bad situation. Like they see um, the bad in them, okay? They actually see... The reflection of what, who they are because you are pure because you're love and you re, you, you re, i say you radiating that it shows them that they are dirty that they are in lower vibration energy that they need to cleanse themselves because you're the light so what it is they the dark so they're trying to hide themselves from from the light i just said i just heard that okay yeah, they're having a rude awakening right now. Okay, they're having a rude awakening that you are the light and you are the walking catalyst. Okay, yeah, they're confused. They're having an imbalancement in their brain, unable to think clearly. Yeah, because they are here in low vibration, probably using drugs, alcohol, you know, stuck in this um, darkness. All right, one more. Yeah. Yeah, they have to leave the old programming and the illusion of this world. The old programming 3D matrix. That's what it is. They're stuck in this matrix. Look, mental trap, man. These people are a mental trap. They have no idea how to escape the matrix. How to escape the reality that they created themselves for. Right? But you, you are a Scorpio because you are um, in the fifth dimension. Okay? Let me get a couple of these. All right? You're definitely in the fifth dimension, my love. What is the message here for Scorpio? Okay, Jamaica, are you coming out? <laughs> are you coming to play with us? Michael, are you coming to play with us? Okay. Message. Oh, yeah, he's coming to play with us. He came out. <laughs> Hi, Michael, we miss you. So Michael just want to let you know that he's about to break um, these. He's going to start cut cording the energetic cord from these people if they don't do the work. Like they're going to about to cut everything out. These people are going to have nightmares. I also feel the wrath of fathers about to be poured out on them. Like this is going to be bad. This is be, this is going to be crazy. All right. These people are a mental blockage. Okay. I feel the wrath of father. Yes. Yes, changes are happening. Global warming. That's the reason why we have the global warming. Okay, tornadoes. Okay, even like hailstorm, I heard, right? Yeah, these people are about to feel what changes is going to be feeling like. Okay, you, some, of the, some of you guys could be seeing 555, 444. But this could be also dumb seeing this. But again, they're mental blockage. So they can't see the angel numbers. They don't. These people are stuck in, in, in negative spells, okay? And that's what you're here to do. You're here to break generation curses here, Scorpio, which you already did, all right? But now it's their turn to, to accept it. And if they don't accept it, there's nothing you could do. See, Archangel Michael's coming out. Hey, Michael, we love you. Yeah, you guys already went through the ascension. You already went through ascension, okay? And, and definitely, this is God's plan, all right? So God is about to put the wrath on these people, Okay, look who's coming out, Father, Yeshua, Inki, Ia, right? Um, Jesus, right? But I feel like Father's like if they don't if they don't move out the way, they're about to be erased from the planet. Okay. So I feel like they also been getting a lot of messages here, like, hey, I've been giving you messages 
to move forward to go through the ascension process okay stop being in mental blockage and archangel michael said well you know if these people don't get out of, of the program of the 3d matrix these egotistical people uh demonic spirit i'm about to cut core uh the the energetic cords that is attaching to you okay because you're star c okay you definitely are star c all right Michael came back. He came out. <laughs> Michael. And this is definitely God's plan. This is Father's plan. All right. So these people better get ready for Father's wrath because it's coming. It's coming. They're going to really feel what hell is all about. Desperation? <laughs> That's nothing. They're going to feel what, wrath, what the wrath and hell is all about. All right, let's get the message here for my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angels. My God and my goddesses, you are the catalyst. So let's go ahead and get some messages here, my loves. The catalyst. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> what I said, you're bringing tower moments. You're bringing tower, you're destroying things, okay? You're definitely doing your work definitely you're cleaning houses baby you're definitely cleaning houses what else tower definitely some type of realization okay some people are having realization they having the epiphany not to mess with you scorpio not to have no ill intention against you because they will get this destruction this wrath upon Ooh. Father's uh, wrath is upon these people, I'm telling you. Okay, Hermit, Virgo. Okay, these people don't see what's coming to them, Scorpio. Okay, Wounded Warrior. Okay. Hmm. Uh, judgment. I can't make this up, right? Archangel Michael is coming out. Judgment for your peoples, okay? Judgment for these uh, demonic egotistical um enemies that you have so you know you could be dealing with a virgo or you can have virgo in your chart okay so of, of course scorpio you are scorpio and scorpio always operate in the dark right scorpio is always in the dark so you might have virgo in your chart so people i i feel like there's gonna be a blackout there's gonna be a blackout literally i just felt that but anyways so because i see the um hermit i see that you can see in the in the dark but these people are not going to be able to see in the dark all right so i don't know if there's going to be a blackout scorpio i don't know i just see that the hermit could see in the in the dark like scorpio could see in the dark but these people are not going to be able to see in the dark anyways whatever this is you are away from these people you are definitely not in communication or you're not around this this situation you're definitely not in the third dimensional level or in the matrix you already made it to the fifth dimension okay um you have um individuals that want to offer you something right but you are very p bored and discontent with these people like you don't want to you don't want to um get any offers from people from your past okay and these people are very very wounded because they want to um maybe have a renewal with you and you're just like, uh-uh. But you have people watching you here, Scorpio. Because they are afraid, okay? They are definitely afraid of you, okay? You're the magician growing old, baby. So you're making all this happen. You're the catalyst. Um, You're making things that's going to happen on the world. That's you. Okay, you're the god and the goddesses here. Wow. Okay, so you have new beginnings so you're destroying this so so new beginning could come in i'm also hearing the new earth so you can um so you can create the new earth here okay you got a chariot hangman uh five of pentacles okay so definitely you're starting something new a new beginning okay you, again like father said you did it you know what you are you did it this is your purpose okay so definitely something is coming for you this could be new love this could be someone coming in uh this could be a cancer that's coming in all right but i feel like you are like 
looking both sides of the situation okay like every angle you're just looking you're not even paying a mind to nobody because you're over here doing what you have to do you're doing your father's work right the most high god work but there's somebody here that feels that you are not paying attention to them and they're feeling left out it could be a cancer or it could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, okay? Someone feels like you are leaving them in the cold or they feel you leaving them behind. That's what I feel. What else, Angels? What else? What else for my Scorpio? Um, okay, man. So you have three of cups. The Hierophant, Knight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, somebody feels like you're leaving them behind, Scorpio, because you're blocking it, because you're fighting this connection or the situation, okay? But again, I feel like you're over here working. You're not even paying mind to whoever's trying to come in as new love. you over here enlightened and you like ascended and you just focus on meditation on doing what it is that you came here to do but there's this person that feels that they feel left out they want a reconciliation with you here scorpio okay um and i feel like they have learned a lesson with you they definitely learned a lesson they know that you're a spiritual teacher they know that there's something traditional about you right and they really want to come in and give you some type of love offer right they do want to work with you in this situation maybe they want to like build something with you right maybe you met this person at work or maybe in some type of gathering here scorpio but i feel like you are so focused on doing what it is that you came here to do your purpose your mission but i just feel like this person feels that you're leaving them behind and they don't want you to leave them behind they want a reconciliation and who knows maybe they want a relationship with you but i also feel like this is father that's about to put this wrath on these people okay yeah because you're the sun you're the sun you're the one that's shining you're here to shine bright like a diamond scorpio you're here to shine bright okay like the sun all right my love so you are love you are a blessing okay you're the one that bring light uh, life okay i'm hearing i'm the good shepherd i bring love life yeah you do definitely you do so let's get into this let's see what's the tower here definitely your car scorpio some type of shocking surprising shocking moment okay but this could be like a breakup or destruction so let's see who's breaking up let's see what is this destruction here what is this um what is this from scorpio the hangman that's weird fighting arguing So the hangman could be you, Scorpio, because you got the hangman over here. So you're over here hanging, watching these people go through some chaos. Like you're the one who's probably see them going through a lot of turmoil, fighting, arguing, fighting amongst each other. Okay, that's what I feel, Scorpio. You're seeing people fighting among each other. You're just standing there, just looking. That's what I feel. Okay, you're not moving. You're not taking any action. You're just hanging and it's just being stagnant but it's because you're starting to see people fighting like amongst each other okay killing each other I, I feel i don't know what's the hermit something about you being strong and the strength here mm. there could be a leo here that you're not communicating with them anymore you probably ghost them because you do have Virgo in your chart. So you ghost this person. You definitely are not communicating. Maybe you block this person. Because now you know your worth. And now you, you see yourself as strong. You also have spiritual strength. Yeah, you're strong, Empress. So yeah, you just like, whatever. So I feel like this person could be very afraid that you are bored. Or discontent with this connection or this relationship. 
or they could be bored and discontent with another relationship or another connection that they're in because they see you as the empress and they might want to grow something with you yeah it's a heavy burden for whoever this person is they don't feel appreciated as well yeah they're coming to give you some type of offer here scorpio this person could be a little younger than you but i feel like you're about to receive some type of message and this could be like um an apology they want to offer you an apology oh you're the star yeah so this person could be very wounded because they see that you are a healer that you are a wish fulfillment, okay? They know that with you, they can have all their dreams come true, right? Um, also, you bring you come with a lot of information, right? Because you are a spiritual teacher. You come with the truth, okay? I feel like they want to heal this connection or this situation with you. Yeah, someone is very wounded here. Night of ones. This person could be watching your social media or they could be watching your work. Or watching your platform but they see that you have like star quality or they see that you're a rising star like you're a rising celebrity or something like that let's see what is the night of ones here but someone is definitely wounded here yeah justice this person could be getting some type of karma <laughs> yeah they could be getting some type of karma because you're not making a decision here you could have them block again um you're very stubborn scorpio you, you are but I feel like you have this person like justice, karma. This person is feeling it. What is the ace of cups here? Higher fan. You're getting all the love and all the... See, I feel like you're getting all the love and all the emotions from your most high God, your father. You know, uh, Inky, yeah, you sure. Um, and I feel like you learn your lesson to start loving yourself and not put all that love and attention and affection to other people. You're starting to do that on your own. And not only that, father's jealous of you. So he's trying to put all that love into you. Some of you guys are definitely feeling the Holy Spirit. Okay, definitely feeling the Holy Spirit. But I also feel like this person would love to have a relationship or some type of marriage or commitment with you. Okay, yeah, someone is about to be the fool here, Scorpio. Somebody's coming quick, Scorpio. Definitely somebody's coming. Okay, the chariot. This person is coming with a with a, a, some type of understanding. They also want to bring this relationship connection to the higher level. All right, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, or just getting to know each other as like, you know, getting to know each other, I see, okay? But also communication. I feel like this person going to travel to you. What is the chariot here? Hold on. What is the chariot? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ah, let me put it back. All right, what is this much? A little chariot. <laughs> I got tongue twisted, Scorpio. Oh, message. So I feel like this person is getting some messages, or you're about to get some message from this person. But there's something that's coming down as well. And I do see the wrath of father that's coming down. Okay. I feel like this person could be feeling like something is happening with them. Maybe this is the universe punishing this person. But there's something that this person wants to say to you. It could be a king of wands, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And again, this message is that's coming. And this is coming really fast. Really fast. What is the hangman? Whatever was stagnant, Scorpio, is, is about to move. Maybe this connection, this relationship with this person was stagnant and now they want to like make it work. We'll see. Also, sacrifice. I forgot the hangman is a sacrifice. So this person probably going to be making some sacrifice towards you. Yeah, but in the sneak tip, deceiving way. This could be like secretly, secretly. This could be this person um, planning, premeditating. Yeah. Because they hurt. Okay, why is the seven of soy here with the hangman? This could be a comic relationship too, okay? The king of wands is a comic. Yeah, the truth. Okay, so this person is coming with truth. But this is also this person planning. But this also could be like mm, cheating, manipulating, controlling the situation. Um, even though they want to bring the clarity to you. 
they might just tell you hey i don't want to feel like this i hate feeling like me and you are in a distance okay i can't be close to you i feel like you're leaving me behind or this person feels left out behind but again i feel like something about this person could be a little deceiving why is this person and i also feel like this person don't have any money either i feel like this person is going through some type of uh, uh okay so you got a high priestess and the queen of pentacles that popped out um i feel like you know about this scorpio you're very intuitive you're very psychic okay your emotions run high but it's not that you're emotional i just feel like you feel people's emotions and feelings and you feel that this is coming okay secrets are coming out people coming to expose oh this person's about to expose how they feel all right i'm gonna put it back but what is the um five of pentacles why this person feels left out they could be going through some type of uh again finances they finances cannot be it might not be going so well yeah they want a relationship or they want some type of reconciliation here with you scorpio uh scorpio that's you they want a reconciliation with you, Scorpio. But I also feel like this person could be um, in a third-party situation because the Three of Cups is here. So let's see why. Hmm. See, that's what I'm, I'm feeling, the trickery. Oh. Knight of Cups, Scorpio. This person feels like you are everything to them. Like with you, they can have everything, you know? you like a wish fulfillment. you like something that came out of nowhere. Yeah, of course. You're an angel, temperance. You're a healer. You're balance. You're patient. You did the work, Scorpio. You are definitely Earth Angel here. That's why this person sees you as a wish fulfillment. But you see, your father's right here. <laughs> your father's not trying to let nobody hurt you baby your father's not trying to let nobody hurt you look the lovers of course you're the child of god okay don't don't mess with his child no fuck that shit <laughs> oh man yeah scorpio mm -mm. don't mess with father's child male female because father's right there like mm -mm. what is this what is the higher friend yeah, I feel like this person is in love with you. They might want to have some type of commitment here, Scorpio. Yeah, feeling left out in the cold. So don't mess with father's child because they would father will leave you out in the cold with no money. Okay? Father will definitely destroy you. I'm just saying, okay, that's a side note. Don't think that father's all good and loving all the time. He is loving. Don't get me wrong. But don't mess with his children because he will cut all your finances and all your losses. Okay? You will be falling from grace. What is the Knight of Cups? So I feel like this person is ready to give you some type of offer here. They want to actually tell you that they care about you. That maybe they love you. Okay. Because the Knight of Cups is someone that wears their heart in the sleeve. Yeah. And, ooh, the tower. Um, yeah, this could be some type of um shocking moment for you. For this person to tell you that. You don't expect this, Scorpio. But that's your card. <laughs> All right. Oh, this could be you not accepting this cup. And they're going to be like shocked. Yeah, they're going to be shocked that you might not want to expect accept this cup. Yeah. You're keeping your emotions and your feelings to yourself, Scorpio. Wow. Wow, 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 Scorpio. Why are you being so mean? Well, let's see. What's... Give me one more. Why are you holding yourself back? Mm. you're gonna break this person's heart i'm telling you why are you holding yourself back what is the knight of cups yeah this person wants to offer you something scorpio but you're being a biatch or, or an ass you're putting up boundaries and you're not letting nobody come through you probably want to cut this person i mean i don't know why i don't think this person did anything to you scorpio all right, let's see what is the three of pentacles here. So this person wants to work with you. Maybe you met this person at work or some type of gathering, okay? But definitely wants to build something here with you. What is the three of pentacles? Yeah, some, some, some type of decision here. 
that um they want you to make here wow but scorpio you just like you just like not trying to make no decision here you're being very stubborn you know what i'm saying you're not trying to make no decision you're just like no sorry i don't want to give and take relationship with you you just don't want to give and take relationship with this person why because maybe this person is going to break your heart or you feel like this person could be in a third party situation but this person is heartbroken, Scorpio. So you're still gonna have the victory here. Okay, yeah, you you see this coming, that's why. You're psychic, baby. You're discerning, you're using your intuition. You see this coming, Scorpio. And this person is falling for grace. Yeah. They're falling for grace. I think this is over, Scorpio. I think there's a new person that's coming in, a new love that's coming in for you. And I don't think Father wants you with this person. Definitely not. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and get some of these. I don't think Father wants you with this person, Scorpio. Why? Not enough? Lack of confidence? Let's see. What, what's going on here? Message three for Scorpio. Most high, what would you like to say? What would you like to say to your child? To your chosen one. To your earth angel. Healing heart. Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, I feel like this person could be an addiction. They could be very toxic. And that's the reason. You already healed from that, Scorpio. You don't need to be around that. You have the freedom, okay? You already went through the freedom from toxic situation. And this person could be very toxic. Remember, I told you, King of Wands is, is a karmic. It's a karmic relationship. All right, the angels are saying, run away, run away. You know, run away, you know, fear of intimacy. This person also has fear of commitment. That's why you're not communicating with this person. Maybe this person had blocked you, hurt you in the past, and you became strong. You probably, you know, ghost them, and you just like, I don't want to be around this person anymore. You pulled your energy back, and now you became stronger, okay? And that's why this person is feeling the wrath. What else, angels? Yeah, they have a shocking moment, a sudden change. Something happened between you and this person. You know, again, a surprise epiphany. Like, you went through a transformation. This person is shocked. Okay, some of you guys went through a glow up. Or this person got shocked by the lightning, by father. <laughs> yeah, you went through an ascending. You ascended already, love, okay? You're already transcending obstacles. Um, you learn to expand your horizon. You're preparing for another union. You're preparing, you're preparing for new love to come in because you have Cupid arrows. You have faith like love is coming in, but not with this person. What else? What else? Just... You know you shit, Scorpio. Yeah, you you work you welcome me love, but you're meeting the one soon. Okay, not this person, you know, and I feel like this person wants to take a chance towards you, but you already, like you healed, you healed from toxic situations. One last one. <laughs> not today, Satan, not dealing with hurt, avoiding conversation, calls, and, and putting up boundaries. You're still putting up boundaries, Scorpio, like literally, you just don't care. You You just don't. Like, you don't. You're moving away from the situation. Moving away. You're growing. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get a couple of these. And then we'll, then we'll close it out. Okay. What is the message here for Scorpio? What's going on with this person? Scorpio, you're ready here. Okay. And you're sending, my love. You're waiting for the right one now. Hold on. Give me a message here for Scorpio. What's going on here for Scorpio, please? And that's the reason why Archangel Michael came out twice. Because Archangel Michael is about to cut this cord out. The energetic cord because this this person they don't belong to you. Yeah, this person is about to message you. Okay, they in despair, in desperation. But this person has a lot of deceit. Very deceptive. Cheating, lying, manipulation, controlling. And and Archangel Michael says, I'm about to cut the cord because this person don't don't deserve you. 
One last one. Not leave it there. Scorpio, you could have been born November 11. I mean, November 7. October 24. One last one. So be careful. This person's going to send you a message, but it's all bullshit. It's a whole bunch of nothing. It's not going to tell you nothing. Yeah, that maybe this person is going through some poverty. Not having no money again, because I saw it over there, the, the five of pentacles. Okay. Ooh, or they could be in jail. Or they could be going to jail. And you're the gift, my love. Okay, November 17th. Um, you're the gift, October 29th. And this person feels like you've always been a gift. You were something special. The lovers. This person can never find someone like you. November November 15th. This person cannot find no one like you. You've always been the gift. God was giving this person you as a gift. And they just, I don't know, threw it in the, in, in the corner, kicked it, and never saw it. Never opened it up. There was a false person. November 8th. Okay. So, my love, with that said, I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, this person is falling for grace. Father's putting the wrath on them. Um, this person is definitely getting some type of karma for being um, deceptive towards you, trying to lie, cheat, manipulate. And now this person might be going to a prison, a spiritual prison, or they'll be going through some type of poverty now because they're in despair. This person is desperate. All right, my love, with that said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I love you. Remember, next week, I will start to extend it. Bye, guys.